In the last stage of its mission to crush anti-government forces in eastern Ukraine, the army is pounding cities and towns with shells and bombs. What used to be a village now looks like that. Scared locals are suffering not only from constant fighting, but there's also a massive shortage of food, water and electricity. In order to try and bring some relief to the conflict zone, Russia is attempting to send tons of humanitarian aid, but the convoy is stuck at the border. As RT's Maria Fanoshna now explains why. Food, water, medicine, as well as warm blankets and sleeping bags. Welcome relief at a time of despair. This Russian convoy has hundreds of tons of humanitarian aid destined for eastern Ukraine and its help that's sorely needed. Four months of anti-terror operation has left towns in ruins, more than 2,000 people dead and many without clean water to drink. NATO and a handful of Western governments say Russia could be using it as a cover for military support to anti Kiev fighters. It's not yet clear exactly where the convoy will be headed, but it will certainly be traveling through Ukraine's war torn regions. And the drivers say they're worried about their safety. The relief convoy is ready to go, but the Red Cross officials say it could take another week for international and Ukrainian monitors to verify the cargo and decide on the route it will take. They say a ceasefire could be on the cards. These 280 trucks have already covered 1,000 kilometer distance to reach the borders. But this is not their final destination. Now they're waiting to cross into Ukraine to bring humanitarian aid they're carrying to those who are in desperate need. For weeks, locals have been sheltering in dark basements, surviving on dwindling supplies of food and water. And these are some of the people calling out for the material help that's already packed and waiting to be delivered. Marif Noshnati, Russian-Ukrainian border.